Anusha and Mohan are in the kitchen with their mother. Mom, let us help you to cook some rice. Oh, very kind of you. Remember, you need to add some water to the rice. Yes, Mom. I'll measure the water with a bowl. I'll measure the water with a cup. The children use different types of containers to measure the volume of water. Will the volume of the water be the same? Think about it. Discuss this with your friends. Let's see what happens when the children use different containers to measure the volume of water. Did the children add enough water to the rice? Click on each container to find out. I'll put four bowls of water into the rice. One, two, three, four. That's too much water. I think you need three bowls of water. One, two, three. I'll put four cups of water into the rice. One, two, three, four. That's not enough water. I think you need five cups of water. One, two, three, four, five. Children, different containers have different amounts of water. The bigger the container, the bigger the volume. Let's measure the volume of water with this glass. I'll pour water into the glass until it's full. Look, I have a glass of water. The volume of the water is one glass. Now, I will pour water into the glass until it is half full. The volume of the water is half a glass. The volume of water is equal to the space it occupies in the glass. Oh, let's measure the volume of water with these containers. I will pour the glass of water into this bowl. Hey, the bowl can hold the same volume of water as the glass. I will pour the glass of water into this mug. Look, the mug can also hold the same volume of water as the glass. The glass, the bowl and the mug can hold the same volume of water. But how do we know how much water each container holds? Think about it. Discuss this with your friends. Click check answer to find out. We use a measuring tool 
to measure the volume of the water. For example, we can use a measuring cup. Pour the glass of water into the measuring cup. There are scales on the measuring cup. We can see the volume of water from the scales on the measuring cup. Litres and millilitres are units for volume in the metric system. Milliliter is written as ML. Litre is written as L. A milliliter is used to measure a smaller volume of liquid. A litre is used to measure a bigger volume of liquid. Containers of different sizes will hold different volume of liquid. We need to have a standard measurement to measure the volume of liquid. We can use a measuring tool such as a measuring cup to measure the volume of a liquid. Litres and millilitres are units for volume in the metric system. Collect three containers that you think may be able to hold the similar volume of water. Label the containers A, B and C. Get a clear plastic bottle. Fill container A with water. Pour the water from container A into the plastic bottle. Mark the water level. Do the same with container B and C. Observe the markings. Which container can hold the most volume? Which container can hold the least volume? Arrange the containers beginning from the container that holds the least volume to the one that holds the most volume of liquid. Which of the photos show the volume of one cup of water? Click on the correct answers. Then click Done. Try again. Good job. Look at the photo carefully. What is the volume of water shown? Click on the correct answer. Great! The volume of water shown is four and a half bottles. Which of these is not the correct metric units for measuring liquid? Click on the correct answer. Wonderful! Meters and millimeters are not the correct metric units for measuring liquid. We can use any container to measure the volume of liquid. The amount of space the liquid occupies is the volume of the container. However, containers of different sizes give us different volume of liquid. We use a measuring tool to find out how much volume of liquid a container can hold. The scales on the measuring tool tell us the volume of the water. Milliliters and liters are units for volume of liquid in the metric system. We have measured the volume of liquid with different types of containers. Let's measure the volume of a liquid in another way using what you have learned about cubes. 
You will need some hard plastic sheets, some sticky tape, a pair of scissors, a ruler, and a mug. Take one plastic sheet. Draw a diagram as shown. The sides of the diagram should be 5 centimeters long. Then fold the sides up to make a box like this. Tape the sides together. Make sure the box is taped carefully. You now have a cube that measures 25 cubic centimeters. Fill the box with water and pour the water into your mug. How many times does it take to fill your cup? What is the volume of your cup in cubic centimeters? Record your answers in your exercise book. Thank you.